Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how I drew my McCree picture in Procreate. I'm just going to be talking you through basically the sketching and colouring process of that. So what I did was I just started sketching him out in Procreate just to kind of get a feel of McCree. I did have a reference picture but I tried not to look at it too much. I didn't want it to look exactly the same. Uh, I start off mostly with the eyes as you can see. Uh, didn't really like them that much, kept moving them around and then I ended up scrapping that picture entirely and trying it from a new angle. So this is the new angle which is more face on. Again I started with the eyes and then the face and added bits in. My style is quite, I don't know, pencil-y as you can see. Use the pencil tool and just kind of sketched without really any guidelines which is probably a bad thing to do but it's the way that works for me because I can just erase things out quite easily on Procreate. Uh, adding his beard in just a few lines here and there and his hat. I think he's quite handsome though his eyes look a little bit strange at the moment. I'm not sure if I fixed that in line art or not. Uh, this is the line art that I'm doing right now. I don't tend to zoom in very close um, I find it quite easy just to draw from far away. Sometimes I zoom in, but uh, mostly I don't. As you can see, my line art is quite sketchy as well, but I like that kind of style as line art. I think it just looks, I don't know, a bit more lifey. Lifey? Is that even a word? A bit more, I don't know, like it has a bit of life. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just like that kind of line art. Uh, I do do other line art as well, but for this one I thought it fitted better. So as you can see, I'm just tracing over the sketch. Uh, I would think this is the, the pen, yeah, this must be the pen tool. And uh, sketching, sketching, sketching over the beard, which is fun. I like drawing beards. It looks like I didn't fix his eyes, but they do look better in the line art, so that's good. Uh, just finishing off the rest of his body and hat. Drawing in the bullets. I, I love McCree so much. He's one of my favourite Overwatch characters. Uh, Junkrat is my favourite Overwatch character though. But weirdly enough, I don't draw him that much. I think I just like the ruggedness of McCree and the handsomeness of him. Yeah. He is cool. Let's see if we're adding some detail in here. And finishing off the Serapti. And now I think it's on to the colouring. There's a few dots here and there. There we go. Now the colouring starts. Just using the airbrush tool mostly in Procreate. And now I have a little reference picture, the one I was using. Just to grab a few colours, make him look as accurately coloured as possible. And try to put some highlights and some shadows in, just like the picture. I love doing the highlights and shadows. I think it makes them look so much more alive when you add them in like this. I'm using the airbrush tool, but I'm also, I think I'm using the smudge tool in Procreate just to blend it in a little bit better. Uh, more shadows and some in the hat. See, I love when I'm, you have the white shining in the eyes. I think it makes the eyes look a bit more alive as well. He's looking quite nice at the minute. Serapi. I'm I think I I need to learn a bit from my colouring because I I should probably use the clipping mask more, which helps not going over the lines. I end up kind of erasing the line the uh, extra at the end, which is a really bad idea. It's a really uh I wouldn't say lazy, I think it actually gives me more work to do. But it's the way I've done it for quite a while. I think I need to learn a bit more. I need to look up some tutorials and stuff on clipping masks and things because it looks so much more easier when I've seen it in videos. Uh, just a bit of highlighting on the Serapi. I think, do I add, yes I do add the pattern in as well. Very simple pattern so that's good. And he's nearly done, just a bit of shading on the hair and highlighting on the hair and the beard. I was actually proud of this picture because I don't usually draw humans that much. 
Uh, I generally draw anthros and realistic stuff, so I was quite proud of this because my humans sometimes come out looking a little wonky. <laughs> and, and I actually liked how he came out, so yeah. And I just did a simple background. I actually quite liked the curved thing and then I changed it and then tweaked the colours a little bit. Well, there we go. Nice McCree. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.